out to the left hand side. A couple trying to start on port. Schiavello very late to come into the fray here. Club Marine wants that right hand side. They could get a good start here. Ella Bache well placed in the middle. Yes, and Club Marine up this end, but Schiavello barging away in there. She's. We're hearing some yelling. She's hit somebody. I think she's hit Nokia and Xerox. Xerox going over, Nokia out of control, and they've got into Ella Bache. Cut into oh, Mayhem. David Wynn, angry. Off comes the head cam. Absolute disaster here before the start. Another lock up. Ella Bache is going to capsize. Michael Walsh receives a push out of the grand final. That's the end of his campaign, but perhaps he can get average points because he certainly wasn't at fault there. Yes, I'll be going into the judges to try and beg for points after this one. Skivillo, I'd say the only one with no redress. And she capsizes as well. Zero supporting. Emmett Lassie on board. Oh, this is amazing. Stop it! 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 right in front of them, driving into a port situation. Blatant disrespect for the rules okay. by Kirby. Oh, Xerox hey, through the spectator fleet. This is a turn up for the books. No room the other side and you sail between them. He will run out of breeze in there though. A risky uh, move for Emmett Lazic. Nokia having many collisions this season. What a shame for them. Really tangled up now. It's going to be a lot of effort to try and separate these two skiffs. Well, it looks as though that wasn't his fault. David Witt on Nokia having to collapse the boat now just to untangle from Mediterranean shipping, but that so just really is a, completing a litany of disasters for Nokia in this Grand Prix series. Yes, David Witt, the kid, he likes to push the boats hard. 